with a Britney update, and I'm so happy to have my man, Christopher Melcher, Melcher attorney at law, zooming in. Christopher, I'm in Vegas. You jealous? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I would love to be there right now. So totally jealous. Next year, I hope to let's let's, let's have you bring you along. I'd love to see you here. Well, I'm, I'm happy. A lot of fans have been upset because I've been uh, not up doing my typical Britney coverage because I've been here covering CinemaCon. But I saw this story hit up and I'm glad I wanted to I banked this on Thursday so we could release it today while I was traveling back home because we got some good news in the Britney camp. Uh, seemingly interesting news, and I wanted to break down to make sure I'm reading this correctly and that it is good news, uh, but it's uh, twofold. So th the big thing I see here is that I saw some rumors of this, but that they were removing uh, the conservator that they were suggesting. It's sort of it's quietly in here. Uh, the move comes after resignation of the consideration of Jason Rubin, who was potentially temporary successor to Jamie Spears once Mr. Spears is removed and the conservatorship is ideally ended. Sources also added this has nothing to do with Jamie's removal, which is remains inevitable. But this is this news was getting some headway, Christopher. I don't know if you saw it, but there were some fans out there that were sort of getting worried because they saw a bunch of drama. Allegedly, I haven't been able to get as deep into it as I hope to. Maybe you know, but they were worried that he was putting his own mother in some questionable conservatorship. It seems like now anybody who has a conservatorship is immediately questioned and is evil, when the reality is I'm sure there are some conservatorships that are actually supposed to be the way they are. However, the fans and everybody sort of was looking deeper and deeper, and there was clearly now a lot of it. There was some attention brewing on, is this the right person? Uh, so have you heard that, and are you surprised now to see uh, him be, be you know stepping down well i yeah i saw the reporting that everybody else did about his mom's uh conservatorship and or the attempt to put one onto her but um look no one no one's going to look good in this role so i don't blame him for stepping aside because who would really want this uh it, it's going to involve a massive amount of criticism of anyone who would be appointed a temporary co-conservator or or conservator of the estate, they're they're going to be looking at that person's background, questioning all of their motivations and and for what. So I don't really know who would want that job. So I, I really don't blame him uh, for stepping aside uh, or rejecting the post, e even if there was nothing in his background to worry about. So for anybody who was worried, now they don't have to worry because he's out. But clearly that this you're right. This job is a very uh, everyone's staring on what happens in this role. So they'll have to figure out how, who that is next. Um, do did you, did you see a problem there? And then are you obviously I, I see this headline as I don't know. I see this as sort of spin. Like what a perfect time to remove them as we can say we're ramping up the efforts. I mean, it sounds good to me, but do you think that was, it, was, it seems like a smart calculated move to like, yep, all right, let's remove him quietly. But also we're revamping and adding all these people, uh, you know, makes it look good. Uh, the fact that they are revamping these efforts and, and, and adding more to, to uh, uh, abide this investigation, uh, this, is all, this is all good stuff we should be excited for. Yeah, it's a pleasant distraction uh, from the removal of this person that they suggested. And and from what I've heard that uh, Jason Rubin is well respected in 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 this line of work. So uh, it wouldn't have necessarily been a problem for him to, to serve in terms of his qualifications. But now they got to find somebody else. So that's the, the, the thing that's concerning to me, because September 29th, if Jamie's out, somebody's got to be in. We, we can't have a conservatorship with nobody in charge. That's just not going to work. I mean, Bill's got to get paid. So who is this person going to be? And notice has to be given in sufficient time for, you know, potentially Jamie, anyone else, Jody Montgomery, the court uh, to look into this. So we have a hearing coming up in 30 days. So I, I really would give it next week uh, at, at the latest that Rosengard has to identify somebody else get them to, you know, agree to the nomination, get their paperwork in. Uh, so there isn't a whole lot of time. But my suspicion is, is that Jason Rubin has been talking to Rosengard about this for a while, saying, hey, I'm uneasy. I don't like the pressure. So he, he Rosengard was probably working on a replacement the moment that those rumblings were heard. I lost sorry, you. I lost my audio. Here we go. Uh, it looks like we're in a good place. Uh, sorry, new system. I'm trying to get used to uh, on the on the fly. But uh, so there's um, on the heels of moving the petition as uh, blah blah blah. We know all this. 
Uh, they are apparently, uh, according to sources, is already strong team will now include another ex-Justice Department legal eagle, Rosengart's law partner, Kyle Freeney, a Harvard law grad, an expert in money laundering and financial investigations, who was one of 19 prosecutors selected by special prosecutor Robert Mueller to investigate Donald Trump. Now, that's a lot of people, some people are going to be happy about that, and some people <laughs> are not, uh, based on how that, that, that ended. But it's clearly someone with a lot of experience. Uh, and then uh, uh, any words on that? Do you think this, this Kyle person is a, is a good angle to someone to, to come in that's strong? Well, yeah. I mean, I know there's been criticism about, well, you know, Rosengard probably, I'm sure, never handled a conservatorship case in his life. And, um, you know, and people are like, well, what's he doing in this? And now we have Kyle uh, involved. But I like those choices. I like that the fact that they're not part of this system, that they're outsiders. They don't care about how things are normally done. They don't care about getting appointments or privileges from this judge. I like it that they're outsiders and I like it that they focus on financial fraud and crime because this is 13 years of transactions and they all look sketchy to me and they have to have somebody in here to investigate that knows the flow of money, documentation, records, question everything with massive, massive amounts of documents to review and organize. We can't have uh, a small firm do that. We need somebody who has experience running large teams of investigators and lawyers. They're perfect for it. Yeah, and that the Mueller the the Mueller investigation clearly was a big one. That I how do you even wrap your head around all that anyway? So it, that, it's a good sign because there's a lot of experience there. Uh, they, there was a little bit more here just to go through the article. Uh, Ruben's lawyer Justin Gold said he just wanted to avoid the spotlight. He said I was inspired to become a professional fiduciary after my experiences in trying to prevent financial exploitation. Consistent with that goal, I agreed to be nominated to replace Ms., uh, Mr. Spears te temporarily, based on my experience in forensic accounting as a CPA to protect my young family. I and, I've, and, uh, and I, from having to deal with the spotlight, I've decided to withdraw my name from consideration. I sincerely hope that this decision will provide an example for Jamie to follow in his daughter's best interests and will keep an eye forward to ultimately ending the conservatorship. So he just wants out of the heat. He clearly was, people were starting to dig in deeper to him. I don't, I, it makes sense. Uh, why, why stick around if people are, are, are wondering, are your intentions right? Uh, so clearly that's why this has happened. And I'm sure everyone on Bard was like, yes, let's not, we do not need anybody to mess this up. Um, so yeah, they're moving full steam ahead as they say here. Um, and they, uh, the, the court hearing on September 29th, uh, will be where they hear the arguments. Uh, and we find out, uh, if they're, you know, how this battle against Jamie would go, uh, but perfect timing, Christopher, to tell everybody that we will actually be there live September 28th, 29th at the courthouse. Happy to partner up with Christopher. You're going to be there at the courthouse. We're going to have a setup. I'll be interviewing and, and, and producing from up here, getting calls in. Uh, we'll be doing a whole day of streaming that day, uh, which I'm so excited for. Uh, I, this is this is this event's kind of is is massive because as I talked to you as we were prepping this, you you feel pretty sure this that date is going to happen and we're going to have that hearing there based on what we're seeing because there's no real other way to get this sorted out until that hearing comes about. Correct. Yeah, there's absolutely going to be a hearing on September 29th, 1.30 Pacific, and because Jamie's not stepping down. We we know that. So there's going to be a hearing about that. Hopefully, Rosengard can get this replacement in there quick enough and whatever other evidence that he needs to put on his case. So it's going to be an epic day. And from last time, July 14th, this was packed. I mean, uh, I live streamed out in front of the courthouse. There was a ton of media and fans there. Uh, so this was probably going to be bigger is my suspicion. So I will be there um, live streaming back to you. And, and the purpose really is to, because there's a lot of people who can't be at these rallies that can't come and support in person. So we're going to provide this opportunity, a window into what this looks like and how many people are out there uh, it's for, for, for everyone across the world that just can't be there. So it, it's please join us for it. It's going to be uh, just absolutely amazing day. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, intel, and I love it because Christopher will have his people on the inside or around trying to get intel from there in the in the moment, and I'll be able to be scouring Twitter and getting information from. We'll have we'll have ever, all your bases covered, uh, a lot of experts, and we ho I hope to interview some of you fans there on the street through Christopher. While I can't be there in LA, I'll, I'm going to be doing all the heavy lifting technically to make sure we have it looking great. Uh, so I'm very excited for that day. We're going to finally get some information. I hope good information. Uh, Christopher, so always good to talk to you. So grateful for your knowledge and expertise and all this. Any final words on this topic? On, and 
and, and sort of in the future of, of, of Free Britney? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a long road. Um, but, you know, step by step, it's, it's getting there. And, um, but yeah, you know, st- we just got to stick with it. Um, and, and there are some good developments that are going to be happening. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can get some more access to the court and find out what's really going on inside our courts. We have a right to that. So that's one thing that, that I'm working on is to kind of open up these doors so we can see what's happening inside this courtroom. Well, th- amen. We need to see this happening. So I'm, I'm glad we're on the right track. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. I don't have all my buttons and end cards here. So you're just going to see stuff go about my face. But hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for all alerts. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below and your thoughts. And if you're going to be there, I know a lot, a lot of fans have been reaching out to me. Andy, are you flying out? I, 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 I think it's better for me to produce from afar. But I hope to see you via Zoom digitally from there with your signs, with your support, with your free Britney shirts, etc. Uh, it's going to be an important day. I'm feeling... I'm, I'm staying positive, Christopher. I think we're going to get, I think she's going to get some good information. I hope if not, we will be there to riot. Uh, (laughs) No, Uh, but uh, stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching here on Popcorn Planet.